Vic is a venture development firm that's in the business of identifying promising intellectual property available for license, founding new companies to commercialize that intellectual property, primarily in the med tech and life science space, putting in place initial done it before management teams, bringing in place the initial funding to establish that the new technology has the merit and opportunity that we think it does. So the VIC Investor Network is a nationally comprised investment group that includes primarily high net worth individuals who are investing in VIC portfolio companies. By only investing within the VIC ecosystem, there's a, a strong measure of quality control. They know that every deal that they're investing in has been well vetted and has strong management teams and is being developed with a kind of a proven business development process. From the very early start of a company, you need to have a clear link to the problem you're solving in the marketplace. You need to have a clear idea on the value that you're bringing to the market, and then have an idea on how you're going to bring it to the market, what kind of resources, what kind of investments you need. And Calvin has always been there as a sounding board, an advisor, a counselor, to actually help us and guide us through the path that we need to take. We're developing a system that actually would automate a lot of the steps necessary to uh, control diabetes. We have an integrated pod that you would wear. It's a disposable pod. And on that pod would have all the things you need, sensing your glucose every six minutes to being able to react to those readings and dosing insulin or glucagon, whatever therapeutic you're on, and have that whole thing disposable. And it takes away all of the things that you need to do and be mindful of if you're a diabetic patient. So it takes a really systematic approach with risk mitigation every step of the way and experienced people who've, who've done it before to, to drive a strong chance of success. Some people refer to the risk profile of bioscience as the four M's. Management, that is the team. Money, that is they run out of it. Uh, product market fit, which means they make something that no one wants to buy or for which there isn't a market, and a non-viable business model such that they don't generate enough profit. The VIC Investor Network does a good job in addressing and mitigating, not eliminating, but certainly mitigating those risks. The reality is that if you just look at the numbers, the likelihood of your being successful is actually fairly low. So it's better to understand the risks up front as judged by professionals who've been there, done that, so that you at least know what you're getting yourself into. There is an interest by some subset of people out there to diversify their portfolio and to diversify into privately held opportunities. Now, those are typically not accessible by you, know, you and me, the individual accredited investor, uh, but by the VIC Investor Network, that now provides a mechanism through which these individual accredited investors can now participate in earlier stage innovative technology companies. The types of investors that we see who are interested in the VIC Investor Network are typically folks who don't normally invest in life science uh, technologies, so therapeutics, medical devices, diagnostics. We've seen people who are real estate investors. We've seen physician entrepreneurs. We've seen angel investors who are members of angel networks but are not seeing the kind of quality life science deal flow um, being presented to them. We're not really a typical VC type investment model where in a, in a you know, VC fund, the, the kind of the norm is they're looking at one in 10 of the investments to return the full fund. The VIC Investor Network investments are tracking quite differently in terms of the number that are having success uh, and, and the type of returns that they're, they're getting from that. And I credit really this complete support ecosystem that we developed, you know, that's across the country and resources across the country that are really driving that high success rate.